These mountain glaciers contain less fresh water than originally thought. And that doesn't just mean a loss of natural beauty. It puts the fresh water supply for millions of people at risk. It's easy to just focus on the impacts of ice loss on tourism because those of us in the Western world visit glacier systems as, as a leisure activity. But actually people who live around them and actually downstream from them, more importantly, depend upon them as a buffer for the amount of water that enters the river systems from which they irrigate their crops and, and, and drink. High resolution satellite images have allowed scientists to more accurately calculate how fast a glacier is moving. The faster it moves, the thinner it is and the less water it contains. That might mean the world's sea levels might not rise by quite as much as originally thought. What you have to keep in mind is that our study does not inclu include the Greenland and the Antarctic ice sheet, who in the long term will be the major drivers of sea level rise. And just looking at the, the total volume of the ice sheet compared to the glaciers, if all Antarctica would melt, uh, it has the potential to uh, increase the sea level rise by more than 50 meters, which is uh, way more than the 25 centimeters uh, from the glaciers. Countries around the world are struggling with disappearing glaciers. Peru is investing in desalination to make up for the loss of fresh water. And Chile hopes to create artificial glaciers in the Andes. But that won't be enough. We don't want all the glaciers to melt. We want them to last as long as possible. And the fact that there's 20% less ice stored in mountain glaciers, if nothing else changes, means that they'll disappear 20% sooner. We don't want to be in a situation where there's no ice left on Earth. We want to preserve the ice on Earth. And, and that now, overnight, becomes a more difficult challenge. A challenge those most affected hope the world will accept. Julian Wolf, Al Jazeera.